Oh, sí, este güey es lo máximo, sinceramente. Rato que no veo este güey, sinceramente. Es lo máximo. Sí. Claro que sí. Oh. Eh, uh, hi. I'm oh, sorry, been bragging on the game. <laughs> Anyways, forgot about it. Um, today I'm going to review one of my all time favorite action RPG in history of them all. And Yes, I need to put the hat. Today I'm going to review Illusion of Gaia, one of my favorite action RPG of all time, published by Nintendo and Enix, and developed by Quintet. So, let's get to it. Greetings, and today I'm gonna talk about one of my few favorite, and of course a childhood favorite of mine, action RPG, Illusion of Time. What a great, amazing game, and a very underrated, alongside with Soul Blazer. Well, in this game, it was released in 1994 in North America, 1993 in Japan, and 1995 in Europe, also known as. Well, the name changes depending on your locations. Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia in Japan, Illusion of Gaia in North America, and Illusion of Time in Europe. So yeah, different name, by the way. It is a great RPG, great action RPG. There's so many class of RPG, but this one is classified as an action RPG, rather than be a JRPG or a strategy RPG. There's so many of them. This is an action RPG. Now, if you're a fan of, uh, of action RPG, most people instantly think of Zelda All Into the Past, which some people argue that it is an RPG, but whatever, I'm not gonna go into that. But most people think instantly on that, but me, this game over that. It's not childhood and another really of mine. Why I care about this game so much? First of all, it is my number my game number three, my third game of my childhood era after Demon's Crest. And I got it in my birthday of the year 2000. So yeah, not only this is a video, it's also my special birthday. So happy birthday to me. <laughs> so anyways, so before I'm gonna start it, let me know in your comment what is your game that you got in your birthday. It doesn't have to be an RPG, it can be whatever game you mention in the comment. And I'll be happy to listen. So, anyways, leave me in the comment what is your game you got in your birthday. Anyways, back to the key game. Also, why I care this game so much. For whatever reason, it's the birthday one second. It was my first experience an action RPG. This is way before I got. So, uh, sorry, uh, Final Fantasy 2, which is an RPG. That was after that of course so yeah this is my first experience my taste of an RPG exists of course I got an experience with RPG with the original Final Fantasy on the Final Fantasy on the NES that was my first bit of RPG but that was after that so, so quite experience necessarily and uh, yeah it is necessarily and this game obviously it was made by it was not made by Enix that's something people confuse. It was made by a company called Quintet. Sadly, Quintet no longer exists anymore. That company bankrupt in the year 2002. So, rest in peace. Anyways, the company made so many great, amazing games. They made Art Racer, Art Racer 2, Soul Blazer, which is a game that I really wanted to review it, but that will be for another occasion. 
That's another under underrated uh, action RPG and Dungeon Crawler, by the way. Next game, is no Gaia, and the game that I always, always wanted as a kid, but I never got it. That was Turn Enigma, but it was only exclusive in Europe, and I did saw it in action. That will be a game out in the future too. And the, the PlayStation games, which I might investigate it, but that, of course. So yeah, Quentin made a lot of games. Sadly, once again, the company no longer exists anymore. It was the phone in 2002. So yeah, the company no longer exists. It was done. Uh, so probably the IPs, like usually look at all the IPs on Quintech now belongs to Enix, which nowadays it's called Square Enix. So I wonder why they well there is a well there is a little remake by a fan base, by a fan, and you don't really leave that below, that made this game. Which is really interesting, but I really wish that Square Enix put attention on Lucian Sky because it's a great, amazing game. It's, it's just a great experience. It's a, so, yeah, it was made by Quintet. Once again, it was put by Enix, but Nintendo did like the game. As a result, they changed the logo, well, the font to a Zelda like because it's similar to Zelda to be more attractive to the American audience. In Europe, obviously, illusion of time, because in Europe, the name Gaia was already marked as a result, they changed it to time. In Europe, and Australia. So yeah, it's quite a difference, certainly. So, and, which is quite a surprise to me. I'll get to it a bit in the story in a little bit. So, I'll talk the story in a bit. Now, if you haven't played this game, it, my friend. I'll tell the story about this game in a moment. Let's do it. The story begins with a boy named Will. Yes, Will. That returned to South King. His father was gone missing after the flood of the Tower of Babel. 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 Eh? Tell me in the comments how to pronounce it. And uh, so, yeah, the Tower of Babel. Tower of Babel. Whatever. <laughs> Again, I really do struggle to pronounce names that are not in English, which is normally a lot of that, but anyways, not, I'm not going to tell you the answer. Uh, Tower of Abel, and the, his father and his good old friend Lance, why they, why they it's so bizarre name, but Lance, Lance, and his father, and they went to the Tower of Abel and they go missing. They go back to South Cape, the years go by, they grow up to teenagers at this point. So as a result, we was take care of our grandfather, grandfather Lola and grandpa, grandpa Bill, Bill as the name. So that it is. And the rest of the friends, which is Eric and uh, Seth, which the group's been in, this, in, the, in the region, necessarily. They live in South Cape. Until one key scenario, his father, well, not exactly, his father did need to will that something horrible happened, something unavoidable. We didn't know until much later. Until did you show up the other characters such as Princess Kara, Lily, Lily, uh, Neil, and other characters that you know. There's so many. If each character is, is all, all fantastic. It has all the personality, each one of them. It has so many amazing things. Which I wish that more RPG has personality. Similar to Final Fantasy and of course everyone's favorite RPG, Super Mario RPG, which has... It's not like an RPG normal like Save the Princess, etc. Yada yada, not that, that kind of stuff. Instead, each character has a personality that makes the game so short. That's the why I like about the RPGs in general. Well, if they nowadays they adapted to it, because now RPG is say the thing since they gotta got it. So yeah, it is. One thing that I noticed is the names of the characters in game culture and as well other documentaries. I did investigate and I discovered that there is a room, there is a prototype of the North America release. In the North American release, it says so Wizard, it was gonna be the same as the Japanese version with the different style. Instead of this, you had a the Earl, William Will, and uh, and 
kind of piggy running around and it's just losing the guy again. It's the same feel when the changes is low. There, of course. There's some mistakes in the translation in the prototype version, like Kara the, talking to the god, it says a different thing as well. So they did change it. When Nintendo is learned, they changed all of it, so to make it a fix. By the way, it also has some sensorizations. In the Japanese version, in the church, there's a statue. But in the Japanese, it's like a church because it has a cross. They also change they also in the Japanese version is a lot darker than the American version. Plus the backgrounds are different. So I guess the North America they made it better and more more appealing to the eye than the Japanese release, which is oh what a twist to serve it. I missed it. I'll leave the links of the ROM the the prototype ROM, the and the difference from the Japanese and American and European version. It's super fascinating. It's just Fascinating to me. The European version is the same, only difference is the language. For example, the there's French, German, or, or Spanish, which you can tell it. As a result, you can tell it right away of the European version. Well, the American is just English, and the Japanese is Japanese. So it has a different persona in the games, of course. This game did moderately success. And it's fondly remembered by so many RPG fans and so many games that grow on this NES in general. But trivia, this game is the sequel of Soul Blazer. Yep, it is the sequel of Soul Blazer unofficially. It's one of the part of the Soul Blazer trilogy unofficially. Yeah, Soul Blazer, which is a game I really wanted to review. This game and the last game, The Enigma, which is exclusive from Europe and Japan. So, so it's one of that trilogy. So, so there's some small cameos of the game. For example, there's the boss of the first gate of Toe Blazer. The first boss show up in the game, but you have to get five red gems to get the boss unlocked. There's also some some reused sprite. For example, the dog Turbo is the same dog from Soul Blazer. The fishes are the same. In fact, some of the sprites are reused on this game. To remind you that this is the sequel, which is kind of interesting to me, it's just fascinating to me. There's so many history in this game, it's just Oh my god, so many memories in this game. In fact, I'm gonna let you a video of me playing the game of Pollution of Gaia. Uh, obviously, yeah, in the video, you see me in, I'm in the mood. Well, right now, I'm almost ending to finish the game, but I already finished the game way too many times. Well, I decided to keep it for another video to show the ending. And for the meantime, you see the video me passing the, the palace of Mu, which is the I was there in the video, so so so. You see that in action. So, so. Anyways, I will leave you with the video, by the way, my friends. Let's do this. For the charm in anything. Alright? To the video.
I hope you enjoyed the video in this particular. Now, as you can see, I'm inside of the house as, as normal. Originally, this video is going to record outdoors, but due to the the COVID-19 the COVID coronavirus, it has to be shot indoors. As well, all the videos that I plan to show outdoors had to be cancelled, I'm afraid to say. It's kind of a really sad thing because I really wanted, which I did a lot of the out, like the Donkey Kong, the Metro 2, I did a lot of the outdoors. I love to do it outdoors since it's much more calm and I can talk more and without using the the microphone because with a microphone it feels too cold and artificial since I always prefer the natural way, the organic way. But unfortunately we have to stay here and be safe to say it. And if you have bored as balls and you don't have nothing to do, if you had a well a Nintendo Classic Edition or an emulator like BSS NES or SS NES like that, if you haven't played this game Give it a try. It's your chance to play this game and this quarantine and be able to learn how amazing this game it is. Seriously, you were begging me to <laughs> talk more about the game. I'll tell you. Anyways, most people ask if it's available on the Nintendo Switch Online. And unfortunately, no, it was, it's still not available on the Nintendo SNES Switch Online, which, by the way, most people do not care for. Some do, but some do not. But if you have the Nintendo Classic Edition, if you plan to play this game, well, give it a try. You can mod the fan and put the ROM in. Enjoy, sincerely. Or an emulator like SSNES 9X or BSSNES. So, you can try it on there if you haven't played this game. Just please, give it a try. It's just a gorgeous and looking game. game. So, so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video as well uh, the other content I made. If you like my channel, well, give it a like or a subscribe to, to see more content. If you're interested, just follow me on social media. You can follow me on Instagram, arroba, erga.morenorivera.5, which is my username, or my, my recently opened Twitch account. I did open a Twitch, which is which is Erga Moreno.98, which is by no way still in construction. So I'll leave both accounts in the description so you can follow me there if you desire. You can follow me there. And since I do now, since now I do live streams on Instagram and Twitch if you want to see me in action. So, anyways, you get the idea. That's it for this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And as always, thanks for watching, my friend. And take care, my friends. Have a good time.